Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and a Life Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this reading. So today everyone, I'm here with a general love tale reading for all of my Geminis who are watching. So if you have Gemini as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, then this reading may resonate or apply to you. So Gemini, in your reading today, what I'll be doing here is channeling any energy in regards to love that is making its way towards you. This energy may already be in your life currently. But before I do go ahead and begin and get started, Gemini, please keep in mind that this will be a general reading for your sign. So it may or may not resonate for you specifically, and if it does not, please don't take it personally. All right, Gemini, so first let's go ahead and pull some energies with the Situations Oracle card deck. And of course, only take what resonates with you. We still have our tarot portion to go through. But let's see what energies we have for my Geminis. What energy is surrounding Gemini or making its way towards them, please, when it comes to love and their person, their connection? All right, so we do have recalling, reminiscing, memories returning. Recalling is our first message for Gemini. What else do we need to know here, please? Denial, not facing truth or rational reason, reasoning. Excuse me. Denial, not facing truth or rational reasoning. All right, let's go ahead and pull one more message, please. What other energy do we have for Gemini? We have interlude, pause, timing factor. Okay, Gemini, so this energy, it seems to be regarding someone current. Could be the recent past, Gemini, but I do feel like you and this person are in separation as of now. And I do feel like with the recalling card, there's memories, there's moments where you may just think about this person, what unfolded, what went down, cherishing the times that were made out of love, Gemini. But I, I feel like with the denial that that sparked ego to me, and of course, roles could be reversed, however, it does apply or resonate for you. But someone may, may have treated you like they didn't see you, they didn't hear you. There could have been a real concern, not even a real concern, a concern on your mind, Gemini, or a truth that came out, a truth that was exposed here, and this person was just blind to it. They did not acknowledge what you were talking about, Gemini, and it's like they, they turned their back on you. Of course, we'll know more. An interlude, pause, timing factor. So, like I said, in separation, feeling like this isn't over yet. I feel like there's no contact. It's silence right now. Of course, I'll refer back to these messages throughout your reading, Gemini. But let's just go ahead and get started with your tarot portion. All right, let's see what we have for Gemini. First card to come out is the Page of Swords. What's Gemini facing with the Page of Swords energy, please? Let's clarify what we have going on for Gemini, the energy that's making its way towards Gemini. Okay, Gemini, so we have strength, Leo energy. We also have the Knight of Wands, but in reverse. All right, so we have the Page of Swords, strength, Knight of Wands in reverse. Let's clarify this energy of the Knight of Wands in reverse for Gemini when it comes to love and this person. Okay, Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles for Gemini. Let's go ahead and receive two more cards. Three of Wands. One more message, please, for my Geminis. What else do we need to know here? Okay, the Empress, but in reverse. Okay, Gemini. So I do feel like the energy we have with the tarot cards and our oracle cards, they go hand in hand with one another. Page of Swords, first card. The Strength card, Leo Energy. Knight of Wands in reverse. Then we also have the Ace of Pentacles upright. 
Three of Wands and the Empress, but in reverse. Empress is Libra and Taurus. So I feel like you are, I believe this saying is turning, it's turning a new page, but for some reason I thought of leaf, turning a new leaf. Anyways, Gemini, I feel like you're walking into a new chapter, but you're having a lot to think about, a lot that you're trying to incorporate into your life. I feel like it's for the positive. This could also be putting the pieces together for your own sake, for your own peace of mind and your solitude here. But I do feel like this energy or this process, or if you consider it healing right now or making sense of everything, whatever you're going through, it has required courage and strength. We have the Leo card energy with the strength, with the strength card, excuse me, Gemini. But it's like you've had to push through the barriers and I do feel like there's this energy of with this person them blindsiding you trying to get over on you trying to one up on you and that could spark like combative energy as far as being defensive trying to defend yourself knowing the truth but you keep reiterating the truth hoping that this person will see you and get to or like reach you but like I said, it's like they hear you, but they don't listen or they're just blind to what you're saying here, Gemini. But I, I feel like they're this person did you poorly or they did you wrong in some sense. So with the strength card, it's like and only take what resonates for you. But someone being out to get something from you or having a specific motive and you've you're not a sheep, Gemini, <clears throat> you've you've warriored through it. And with the Knight of Wands in reverse, this connection may have picked up fast, but I do feel like it may have picked up too fast to the point where you may have been blind to this person's actions or you took note of their red flags, you noticed your intuition, but you stored it away out of love or you kept hoping for the best, hoping for stability, that Ace of Pentacles, that, that grounded feeling within this connection and shared between you and this person. So Knight of Wands, it may have been a temporary, I'm going to describe it as a temporary energy, but very impulsive from this person's side. So say this person comes through as charming, they're energetic, but I, I feel like this person did what looked good, did what would make you perceive them in a positive light, Gemini. So three of wands, I feel like this refers to that recalling energy, reminiscing memories returning. So thinking about what's out there and you may or may not be interested in exploring things with this person again, but I feel like you're, you're still set on your goals. It could be any goal, Gemini, career, finances, but when it comes to love, that relationship that you desire and you dream to be in and it is out there and I feel like you know it's out there but one thing you're not about to do is chase this person because the empress doesn't chase they attract um but also Gemini with this being in reverse I feel like you may have done the chasing or you were overwhelmed or worried about having this be ideal for you that you were putting in the work you were stressing and pressing yourself over this person i also got the energy of blocking your blessing so there could also be that energy of divine intervention so this coming to an end when you didn't want it to but it happened for the best reason following the empress in reverse what else do we have for gemini the emperor all right so the emperor upright what's this emperor energy about please Okay, two of pentacles. So it seems like someone is making their way towards you with the emperor, but we'll clarify if it's the same person. Who's this person? The emperor, the two of pentacles for Gemini, please. Okay, the hangman. The hangman for Gemini. Let's go ahead and receive our last couple messages for this energy, please. Following the hangman, we also have three of cups in reverse. Three of cups in reverse. Let's clarify what we have all together. Death, Scorpio, energy, Gemini. One more message, please. 
Ten of Swords. So, yeah, I feel like this is regarding the same person, Gemini. Following the Empress, we have the Emperor in reverse, Two of Pentacles, the Hangman, Three of Cups in reverse, Death, with which is Scorpio energy, and Ten of Swords, Gemini. So, the Emperor coming out right after the Empress, that's Aries energy. I feel like this is this past person. I feel like at first, initially, they applied the, the pressure. They did what they felt you would love, Gemini. They were strategic, they were calculative, they were smart with it, but the emperor could be, in some cases, and with this energy, I feel like it's also impulsive. We have the knight of wands up top, so it's like, I, unfortunately, I feel like this person wasn't here to stay or stick around. They may have not had the best intentions for you, Gemini. So the Emperor, I feel like they came first, and this could have been after their true colors unfolded here. You feeling like it's all about what you want to do, what gets you ahead. Feeling like they don't consider you, Gemini. Two of Pentacles, juggling, balancing. Usually, Two of Pentacles upright, it's momentum. Um, finding a routine that works. Going equal, 50-50, half and half, Gemini. but. Only take what resonates, that'll be my last time saying this. It This could have been a third party situation, just the juggling act here. But besides that, Gemini, I feel like this, res this refers back to your energy, just doing what you can to maintain. You may have worked yourself hard to try to take your mind off of your concerns, your your doubts, your worries, your fears when it came to this connection here. So just trying to keep your wor your world, excuse me, your world revolving, Gemini, so you're just not stuck on this connection. Once again, that recalling energy. Then we have the hangman. I feel like interlude, pause, timing factor. You're no longer chasing this person. Your heart may still be open for this connection, but I feel like you're just letting the wind pass or letting the wind blow here, Gemini. And you could be catching up on feelings that you have not processed yet, because I do feel like this connection took you out of your day to day. And when a person leaves our life, it could be hard to gather up. How do I move forward from here when they were a daily part of my life, when I did care about them? But the three of cups in reverse, I feel like you perhaps were isolated from your inner emotions, but also those those people who do truly love and care about you, your soul tribe being split up, you once again feeling isolated, not feeling that support system. But it's a new beginning for you, Gemini, death, rebirth. And of course, it's completely normal recalling to rem reminisce and remember, procrastinate on the prior memories that you did have with this person. But with the Scorpio energy, it's it's shedding. You're walking into something new, that Page of Swords energy. There's something bigger, something better ahead for you, Gemini. And I do feel like this energy that you were once in, it got so st staticky, it got so fuzzy, that it maybe became uncomfortable. And even if you weren't the one to end it, Gemini, it could have been divine timing, it could have been this person's actions. I feel like leaving that energy it's a relief even if you still have other emotions towards it but ten of swords an energy of reflection letting your thoughts pass you by breathing letting it out putting everything in front of you and reevaluating things reevaluating things and assessing things gemini i do apologize but yeah we have the ten of swords so yeah, it seems like this is regarding someone from the past, the recent past, an ending where this person was thinking about themselves. They could have treated you poorly, done you wrong, Gemini. And you're reminiscing here, but I feel like you're also thinking about how everything came about, how everything unfolded. All right. Last but not least, we'll see what signs may be relevant. We do have Pisces for Gemini. Taurus, Pisces, Taurus, and Virgo. 
all right gemini so i'm gonna go ahead and leave it at that for today as always i appreciate the love and support please like comment and subscribe and i will talk to you next time bye